leave darkness behind. And it takes a champion to make that decision. And uh, I really want to speak to the fact that I've had some challenges in the last couple of years myself. Uh, and uh, ultimately, I believe that suffering leads to salvation. And in fact, it's the only way that uh, we have to somehow accept, not deny, but feel our suffering and feel our losses. And, uh, and then we make one of two decisions. We either decide to go through the gate of resentment, which leads to vengeance, which leads to self-harm, which leads to harm to others, or we go through the gate of forgiveness, which leads to grace. And uh, your being here is an indication that you've made that decision already. You've made the decision to walk through the gate of forgiveness to grace, just as Christ did on the cross. He suffered terribly and he was broken by it to the point of doubt and a feeling of absolute abandonment, which all of you felt. And uh, then there was a decision to be made. And the decision was to look upon the people who were causing that suffering, or the situation that was causing that suffering, with compassion and with forgiveness. And that's what opens the gates of heaven. So I wish that for all of you. I wish that for myself. I know that you know, no matter what I've suffered, most of you have suffered worse than that. But that's why I admire you, because you're here. You know? And you will have grace because this decision has been made.